talking about the Spanish language here. Read the end. Your language is done for. Don't see, like, I don't see the serious robots even needing it to pass reality. Now, I'm not just being mean. I've already said this a long time ago. I said, uh, look at this, asteroid danger, 100% certainty of impact. Anyway. I said a long time ago, like 10 years ago in Conscious Zine, well, nine years ago, no, eight years ago, that uh, English is going to be the world language because it has all the hard, big scientific words. But look at this, also for this reason. Brahma to Brahma, oh, okay. Because, <laughs> you know, in English, look, we have two different words, but then, look, it translates into the same word. <laughs> and, look, we do give different meaning to different words, and all of reality is, you know, language, code. So language is always of ultimate importance, and the reason I always go on about this now, and probably, I guess, for the rest of my life, but... I'm thinking I'll go on about it now more than when I'm older because, uh, you know, we have Newspeak, right? George Orwellian Newspeak, and he said the language will basically be dumbed down. What do you have on the street language now? When you're on the street, is it intelligent language or is it all syncopated and dumbed down, yeah? See what I'm saying? So because we have that around just so much, you know, the, the Orwellian new speak predicted by George Orwell, an author from long ago, um, because we have new speak around, which is basically the dumbing down of language, like ungood, instead of that is not good or something, people just say ungood or, you know, that, that was what he talked about, like uh, in the book, things like of that nature. But I related it to, you know, being alive now, not in a book, you know, 30 years ago or whatever. Talking about being alive now, we have new speak all over the street. And, uh, you know, even the Australian language, I, I'm talking obviously in America, not in the Middle East so much, yeah. <laughs> and in Australia, we also do a lot of syncopation and street slang. And, you know, sometimes it can you know, add a little bit of meaning, but most of the time it seems to be simplified and syncopated and so on, so that's why I go on about language. And also in the context now that it's the end of individual human cultural history. So your culture is now being melded like a river into an ocean of humanity, and I'm telling you that's why Less people in you know Australia enjoy learning Spanish, but for instance, when I come over here, um, they all like well, unless they're like you know very communist or racist or just like you know backward and stuff, they like to learn English because I think they you know inherently can see and feel the expansion of the the code in their language. So I'm not just having a go here like against you know anyone who speaks Spanish or something. If I understood Mandarin, I might say the same thing. I just cannot understand those hieroglyphs. It's too intense. It's, it's too crazy, you know, it's something. But I guess, look, see, how is Mandarin going to be the number one language? Only by, you know, that they have a bigger population. But I mean, you know, a world language for usability, yeah? <laughs> for when we go off world and stuff. We're probably not going to, you know, communicate in little symbols like that. I think we'll be speaking English more than uh, that because you think about it too, and I guess that is a good example, and I'm glad it came through me then. Mandarin is what the number second or third language, and Spanish, second or third language. And English is number one spoken in the world, right? But 
it's glad I'm glad that uh, I I brought that through the idea of Mandarin also not just uh, Spanish because because it has you know because Mandarin has so awkward and uh, necessary uh, you know a long it take you know it's going to take you a long time to learn that right because it's so different now it's not necessarily that it's novel right but it's uh, because big hard scientific worlds words they're going to be more novel in some sense introducing new novelty into the system new meaning this is all about meaning yeah translating meaning because a culture like the earth culture right you are from earth a culture cannot evolve faster than it can communicate now I just don't see us, you know, communicating in a simple language like broma to broma, like with less meaning, or like Spanish, like or in Mandarin either, because these symbols would take a long time to learn, and it's more like uh, they're esoteric, you know, it's like a a long indoctrination process really to learn uh, something like that. I reckon. Anyway, and it's like artistic. So, I mean, it has its place, but uh, I'm trying to say something else in this video, right? I'm not just speaking just against the languages. I'm trying to say something about, um, you know, the, the evolution of our uh, species as humans, you know. Um, I think the English language has uh, reached the more complex state and, and also simple in, in a way as well, right? Yeah, there can be some hard double meanings like they, like there, there, and there, <laughs> and and off and off, you know, and, and stuff like that. But that's pretty simple to learn. Like, uh, you know, I really think more easy than learning, for instance, like Chinese symbol language. I just don't see that being easier for everyone. <laughs> and uh, you know, and then with a meaning less language like Spanish. I just don't see those two making you know, first place or best use, you know, for our species communicatability. And hey, I'm not wrong because all these other languages, Mandarin, Spanish, all of them, they all want to learn English. So they must inherently, you know, feel it. I don't think it's just, you know, Occidental brainwash. I think they inherently feel the expansion and uh, difference of it, you know, the differentiation of meaning, you know, as well. Okay, Benjamin Kalmberg, ConsciousZine.net, just trying to uh, kindly show you why you should learn English. Not because I'm some bastion of the English language and the Queen's English. Fuck the Queen. <laughs> I'm totally just talking about it on a meaning-based level of parsing reality, P-A-R-S-E, parsing uh, the code of reality into meaning and so, you know, forward evolving for our species.